really funny because um, I, I, have, I have six sisters. Uh -huh. There's six girls in my family. And I can remember hair washing day. Because right. it was like once a month or right. twice is too much. There's a lot of heads. Right. And so my mother would be sitting, and this is when we didn't even use blow dry, like you had to air dry your hair. Yeah. You used to, plat, you used to wash it the night before, plait it up, wait, you have to check to see if it's dry, because right. you don't want to you don't want right. to start pressing that right. hair out right. when you get that bad sizzle. Right. But you got mother, your scalp breathe that yes, you got it yes. washed. And, and my mother was stationed at that stove uh -huh. to press out. Six heads and of those curlers, right. and I remember that. And I remember the day that that Revlon perm hit. She was oh, like, "Light them up because I'm not doing this anymore." And in a way, it kind of liberated her mm -hmm. from from that. Right. From Forget that about arduous. you. Right. Right. Forget that. Hold your ear. Yeah. It's just the heat. Right. Right. So there's that, and I remember years later when I decided that I was just going to let my hair grow out natural. And I remember, um, I enjoyed it. I, I've always been good with hair, so I could always braid. So it wasn't it right. was hard for me. Right. Um, but I remember it was it was probably yeah the early '90s when oh when I think that black people look the best in New York City because there was like the diversity was met, yeah it was like we had shaved heads right. so people with froze and twists and right. locks and people with straight hair. But I just thought we looked fabulous. Right. And so I was on the natural side. Everybody it was asked. Some bad leaves in the early 90s. Well, it wasn't that. I'm just talking about diversity. Oh, okay, okay. You know, okay. leaves had not yet come into their, their <laughs> current form of, oh. of, of. Yeah, no, because it was. That was a new. The, the was technology bad. hadn't advanced. No, you could really. Mm. Okay, but people used to always ask me, do you live in Brooklyn? Uh -huh. And I would be like, no, I don't live in Brooklyn. Right, right. They'd be like, Ashe, hotel sister. Uh -huh. I all of a sudden became a sister. And I was like, I mean, it's fine, but you know what? My hair for me was not political. Right. And it was like, that's the thing we're talking about from that era. It was an issue for you. It, it was self-expressive. You weren't totally. defined by it. You had an experience with it. But, but it people, wasn't necessarily a negative. And one. people could would be sometimes offended. Right. That I didn't hold a certain belief, or you know, like I, I wasn't going to be, you know, in in Mashoud, yeah, or you know, right. the Frankenstein, and that was fine. I thought they were fabulous right. women. Who, who, yeah, that yeah, just yeah. wasn't my thing. Right. But sometimes the backlash because my hair wasn't a political statement uh -huh. or a cultural statement. Right. Had like, <laughs> you would just kind of like very blase about it. Why right. would you do it if right. it didn't? But it just for me, it did it. it right. did it. Right. Just like straight yeah. hair doesn't yeah. mean yeah. that you're not down. Right. But I think that all this is is a part of that discussion. Well, sure, and and you know, and it, and it's a testament to even the assumption that we are so defined by our ethnicity. It's just like okay, but like with so many things, we really are. I mean, you know, it's really funny when I travel outside the country. I realize. I'm probably more American than I am anything else. Right. Yeah. Because culturally, right. yeah. you, inside America, we identify in our subdivisions. Mm -hmm. Right. But when you are taken out of that, you really realize how incredibly <laughs> yeah. culturally American, yeah. whether that's good or bad, <laughs> yeah. you are. Yeah. And you go like, wow. Proud of it. And Love people it. will see you first. I think they'll see my blackness and my femininity. Uh huh. But. They'll also they'll recognize me first as American because you know if you go over to Europe you have many Africans and many right. diverse types of brown people right. come from all right. over the world and, and right. so they when they look at you they can see the difference between whether you are black and African mm -hmm. from Africa or African American right and it's different I, I think we also still have a certain amount we have a certain amount of spirit that shines through yeah. Um, as being, as holding the amount of freedom that we have mm -hmm. 